Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Marina and today I'll show you how I made a Christmas night light out of Dollar Tree shelf. I'm beginning with a ladder. I'm taking a piece of thick cardboard and cut it to the width of the inside of the house so that it fits wall to wall. I cut strips of cardboard, three strips a centimeter wide, this is to raise the steps, and I'm making three wider strips for steps. I made them two centimeters wide, and the last one is a little bit wider for the porch. Then I'm assembling the steers together. First I'm gluing each step with a riser in pairs. To maintain a right angle between them, I'm adding some small pieces of cardboard to the sides of the step. Now gluing all the steps together. I also added some pieces of cardboard for supports here. I'm installing the steers into the house and marking the location with a pencil so that I can glue it evenly. With hot glue I won't have an opportunity to fix if mistaken. The next element is a door. I cut out a rectangle from cardboard and I'm making a frame for it from thin strips of cardboard. I'm cutting the strips at 45 degrees to make them look like real plat bands. I'm also making some frame for the door. I'm also cutting the strips off at 45 degrees here and hot glue them to the door. Now all is ready for painting. I'm painting the back wall of the house and the stairs in grey color. I'm trying not to hook the side walls, I wanted to leave them in the original color, but you can paint the entire inner part as well. I'm painting the plaid bands in cream. And the door will be red. After the first layer of red has dried, I'm painting the door using the same technique that I already showed in a recent video about Dollar Tree Toys Mikowa with homemade chalk paints, so I'll just link that video in the description box below. I'm using two colors here, red and chocolate. I'm applying red color to the desired area, then along the border I'm making thin lines of chocolate with another brush and then I'm blending the paint until I get a nice ombre effect. If the paints do not blend well, you can simply moisten the brush with water. I make inner rectangles on the door separately and then the edging. This technique looks very realistic, the painted cardboard immediately becomes a real door of some old house. I'm adding some brad as a door handle. You can also use a suitable bead or make it out of polymer clay or even draw it with contour paint. I'm also drawing the house number over the door with contour paint. Now we can glue the decor into the house. I'm installing the door and gluing the plat bands around it so that everything sets evenly. The cream color looked too new and clean compared to the old door, so I'm dry brushing the plat bands with prawns a little. And finally I'm hot gluing the door. I decided to add tiny wall lanterns here. I'm cutting squares from cardboard for pieces 1 cm and 6 smaller squares. As a result, here I got two sets of 5 squares. I also have two rings and two beads here. 
I'm putting the beads over the ring and fix it with a drop of hot glue. I'm gluing together the two largest squares, as small as squares goes on the top, and I'm installing a bead with a ring over the top. This will be the roof of the lantern. I'm also gluing the lower squares in pairs and complementing them with small beads from below. I thought over for a long time how to make the main part of the lantern. I'm making a glue stick. I have 7 mm sticks here, a little thinner than usual ones. I'm cutting off two pieces about 2 cm long. I'm gluing the lantern tops first. Then I'm gluing the pieces of wire to the corners. These will be the lantern stands. I cut these wires from a paper clip and finally I'm gluing the lower part. The assembly may look quite complicated here. You can also use some small caps from medicine jars for imitating the lanterns. Assemble them from jewelry parts and beads. It depends on what you have on hand. After this I'm painting the lanterns in brown. And then applying some bronze over. I decided to use cotton roll for making entryway decorations. I'm taking a thin long piece of cotton and twisting it into a long thin roll. This one is for a garland over the door. I'm covering it with white glue, best is to use some flat plastic surface for working. And then I'm taking a very thin layer of cotton and covering it with white glue, so that cotton was soaked in it. And I'm making the cotton crazy, creating the texture with a toothpick, gathering the cotton in short movements to the center the piece will decrease inside. After it's ready, I'm carefully taking it and putting over the prepared thin roll and correcting the final look with a toothpick. You'll use two or three crazy overlays like this to cover the entire roll. After this, I'm shaping the garland to frame the door. I used a piece of cardboard here to make the right size. And when I like the result, I set it aside for drying. I'm making a Christmas tree in same technique, shaping a piece of cotton as a small cone, applying some white glue over and then making crazy layer to cover the cone. If you're new, I want to say a big welcome and I would love you to join my community by tapping on the subscribe button as well as the bell to keep up to date with everything I have to show. And the last but not least, a tiny snowman. This is very easy, just make three balls like you do for a real snowman and cover with glue. I'm also making a kind of bucket from cotton and a thin nose and hands. These I'm drying separately. After all cotton decorations are dry, this will require a day or two, I'm painting them. I used a green fork, the garland and the tree. When the paint was dry, I thought it was even too dark, so I added lighter green over here and there. And in the very end, I'm dry brushing the garland and the tree in white for snowy effect. I'm also making a decorative planter for the tree. I'm cutting the top from champagne cork and sticking a push pin into it. My push pin has a rounded top, so I'm sanding it a little to make it flat. Then I'm painting it brown. 
it's time to decorate the garland and the tree. You can use any nice beads you have. I'm using here plastic beads in different sizes in red, gold and silver color and adding some tiny red ribbon bows. A good option for decorating is some small rhinestones. I came across a rhinestone ribbon in my drawers and used these for the tree. After everything is ready, I'm hot gluing the tree to the planter. Now I'm installing the garland into the house. Adding some more bows. I also found some tiny bells in my stock, so I'm gluing these bells over the door. You can also make a wreath from cotton for the door if you like. And the last goes the tree. Here I was too impatient. Best is to glue it later, you'll see that. At this moment I found a filigree and thought it would make a great doormat. I cut it in half with pliers and hot glue to the entry. You can also use a piece of nice lace for same purpose. Let's return to the snowman. I'm painting its bucket in grey and the nose in orange. After dry, hot gluing these to place. Then I'm touching the bucket with some silver paint and drawing the face. I'm painting black the arms and after dry also hot gluing them to the snowman. And I decided to make one more thing, a decorative sledge. I'm taking a couple of popsicle sticks and cutting them into thin strips. I'm making the plank edges rounded with scissors. Set them over a table at regular intervals and assembling the seat adding shorter planks. I'm also taking two more planks to make the runners. Here I'm adding tiny posts. Now I'm assembling the seat with the runners and adding a piece of toothpick between the runners. I'm staining the sledge in dark brown. And decorating it with a red bow and some beads. Now it's time to make lighting. I'm drilling the house back wall and threading a fairy light through it. I had 16 feet lights, so I twisted it in half to get more frequent lights. Here I had to detach the tree to make the work easier. I'm twisting fairy lights around the tree and then I go along the door. I'm hot gluing the other side of the lights near the hole and also go along the door so I'm getting a loop at the top of the door. I'm hot gluing this loop underneath the house roof. I had to paint some imperfections here, which I made when I detached the tree. And now I'm hot gluing the sledge to place. Now let's add some snow. I used cotton roll to make nice and thick snow over the roof. This makes the house look so nice.
I'm also adding some snow to the steers, top of the lanterns and sledge. I'm gluing the snowman over one of the steers and after dry I'm applying more white glue and in the end add some mica flakes. You can also use some white glitter or leave it as is. I like using mica for this kind of decorations, it looks very natural. The last thing I'm dry brushing in white the door and the sledge a little. I really love the result, this night light looks almost magical with all these tiny details. It's so easy to imagine that a little elf lives behind this door. You can even use it as a nice advent for your kid if you add some hanging numbers that you can interchange and tell that little Santa comes through the door and leaves a tiny gift for him or her at the stairs every night. I think it's such a cute and unusual idea for advent. It's a pity my boy is too old for this already. Let me know what you think of the project down below. I want to thank all of you for joining me today. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next one. Bye!